Hi YouTube, my name is Elisa Lapinel and I am a certified professional dog trainer. Today I am making a video blog about hand feeding. Hand feeding is specifically for dogs that struggle to develop trusting relationships with their family. This could be dogs that exhibit resource guarding with food, toys, or sleeping space. It could also be dogs that show stress symptoms or aggressive behavior when they're being pet or handled. Um, and it would also include dogs that run away nervously when their owners are attempting to call them uh, to come to them. Hand feeding means that you are no longer using a dog food bowl and that all food comes directly from the owner's hands. This can be done for a period of one to two weeks or longer for more serious cases. This should be done in a low stress, low distraction environment. Once your dog is sufficiently engaged with this ritual in your home, you get advanced to quiet residential neighborhoods or quiet parks. Avoid situations where people or off-leash dogs might come running towards your dog during feeding. Hand feeding helps to establish a bedrock on which you can build trust, focus, and engagement. Here are a couple of examples of dogs that really benefited from hand feeding when I first started their behavior modification program. This is a two-year-old Korean Jindo that was aggressive with his owners when being handled. He also exhibited a lot of fear and anxiety around sounds and objects that he was exposed to on a daily basis. This is a one-year-old Chai Weenie that would cower and be submissively even when she was being pet by her owners. Due to the fact that Lucky exhibited very high levels of fear and anxiety, you can see here that I am feeding him as he stands in front of me, and I am not even attempting to ask for more complex behaviors. He would not take food from my hand, so I am placing his food on the ground in front of me. I did this for two or three days until he was sufficiently engaged and ready to offer sits and downs. I normally recommend that hand feeding take place in the dog's home environment where they are likely to experience minimal stress and distractions. However, at the time that this video was taken, Martini lived with six other dogs, so we opted to train with her outside. I'm using a meaty, high-value treat to compete with the environmental distractions. I'm working with her in a sit and a down. Luna is demonstrating strong engagement, so I'm challenging her by rotating through three important obedience behaviors, sit, stand, and down. I provide high rate of reinforcement for the duration of each behavior to condition her to hold the position until I give the subsequent cue. There are very few things that are more rewarding than watching a nervous dog become more trusting and more confident. Here are a couple of after photos of Lucky and Martini and you can see how they're proceeding with handling exercises and with obedience exercises. You can see in their body language that they're becoming much more confident and much more trusting dogs.